What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of Magic Duels. We're getting in there with a different deck uh, than last time. I'm interested in trying something new. It's not really new. It is uh, a user-submitted deck. Well, viewer? Viewer-submitted deck. Not you. Well, I mean, I guess they are a user also, aren't they? Because uh, that's how this works. You kind of want to play and use the game. Oh, oh, did I start recording too early because we have a joining session problem? Is that what I did? <clears throat> well. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I was, I was like, just about to hit the pause button, and I didn't have to anymore, so I'm happy. Pausing makes editing a little more complicated. Well, your name is stupid. It's just stupid. You didn't... You're an embarrassment to the game. Uh, this is not the best deck in the universe, but I will keep it because I have enough lands for... Like, th this deck needs lands, and this is a lot of lands, so... And and I'm, I'm somewhat aggressive here, so I'm okay. And he's mulliganing down to beeswax. But he does play it first, so that kind of sucks. But I have a nice even split. Uh, I kind of want to keep this. This just seems like a good... Uh, I can still play everything in my hand. I got to turn two, I got to turn, I got to turn three, and I got to turn four. If I need to turn four, I probably won't do the turn four, but I have it. That's nice. A couple of these guys aren't going to do a whole lot for me, but eh. Eh. Do I need to show him my, uh, I don't need to show him my red, so I think I'm just going to dump this guy down and leave it at that. Clutch of Currents, uh, one more land, and I'll be able to uh, cast him for the Awaken. And then he'll mesh really nicely with everything else because that land will be a colorless creature. So uh, Tide Drifter will give him plus one in the ass. So I'm happy. What the fuck was that? What What is this? What the hell? Diagraph Colossus. Oh, yeah, I know him. Uh, for each zombie in the graveyard, and then whenever you cast one, you get another zombie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that dude. I know that dude good. I know I'm totally good. Going to be uh, sky spawning right now. Next turn, I will consider adverse conditions. He's probably going to have three creatures down. Probably. I don't think he's going to attack with a Colossus because I can trade and happily trade with a 2-1. Uh, that's not a zombie card. So that does not trigger uh, the Colossus. Uh, I mean, it gives him zombies, but that is not a specific zombie card. <laughs> that does not say zombie on it. Wow, all the lands. Okay. So I actually can hit Clutch of Currents right now. Um, <laughs> or Awaken Clutch of Currents. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, awaken costs five. How come this is lit up like that? Oh, because I can sacrifice the Scion for it. Uh, I don't want to do that. Mm, what do I want to do? I could Tide Drifter, which doesn't really seem to do very much. I could Adverse Conditions, but I'd rather do it on his turn. So let's just swing for three in the air. Uh, make him lose one. Uh, I'm going to Adverse Conditions on his turn, I guess. Yeah, screw it. I might as well. I'm probably going to hit his two tokens, actually. I, he might have other things come down, which kind of sucks for me. Yeah, screw it. That's how that's how I'm going to play it. That's how I'm going to play it. I'll do it. I'll do it that way. I like this. This seems fine. I'm not like the most upset. What are you going to do for me, son? Swing it for 6, probably. All right. Hey, that that makes things Actually, that makes things awkward for me because I could have uh, tide drifter then. <laughs> he should have should have done something about that. But if he does have a creature uh, for blocks, uh, I guess I could just tap it down. Uh, he didn't. Oh, well. Okay, fine. Well, fuck you, too. Wow, all the lands. All the lands. You know, uh, what What? What other options do I have here? I could... I mean, I could adverse... Condi all right. No matter what, I'm swinging all in. That's happening, okay? That is happening. Swinging in for four. Then... Then things get a little more awkward. 
<laughs> do I want to clutch occurrence with awaken now, or do I want to adverse conditions on his turn? Guys, I think I'm going to do it again. I know this is weird. I know this is definitely not the most optimal way to play this, but I'm going to do it. I'm I I'm I'm just holding out for the hero, you know. I believe that he's going to swing in. Yeah, all right. So there's 6. That's okay. I'm at 8. If he plays a zombie creature, which I'm sure he will, he'll get a 2/2 two -two token and a zombie. All right, and whatever creature he played. And I can adverse conditions both of them. Pick up, uh, I guess a token would probably be the best because then it just dies. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, that sucks so bad. All right, fuck this. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this bullshit. Fine. You got it, all right? It's dead. Don't untap those creatures. I was actually planning on using the Scion, <laughs> but I I didn't. Oh, see, now this is just poo-poos. Just all the poo-poos. I, I, I totally fucked that up. I just completely destroyed this game. Uh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Who cares? Wow, why didn't he just pop a token? It's a 3-1. Huh. I wonder why he didn't just destroy a token. That, I feel like that's kind of a fuck-up on his part. Okay, good. So a fuck-up on each of us. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't feel so bad anymore. I feel like this deck could use a little more card draw? More card advantage? That wouldn't be so bad. What is he doing? There he goes. He's figured it out. I trust him. Uh, those don't really help me. I will... Uh, okay, so how do I... Okay, yes. Awaken. And I'm going to bounce that. Gonna turn that into a creature. Thank you for paying this correctly. Swinging in for six. That's half his life. Seems good, bro. Seems good. Next turn, I can double Tide Drifter for some reason. Not sure why I would do that, but I could. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Tide Drifter, you know, if I'm going to cut a card, it might be Tide Drifter. It's kind of an awkward card. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame to see. Um, well, you know, uh, this is it's weird, but I'm probably going to sacrifice the 3-3. Three, three. Um... Yeah, I'm probably going to sacrifice the 3-3, three, three, honestly. Be yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. The thing on the ground is what he can block. And, in fact, he can even trade it with the 3-1 uh, creature. So there's really no reason to keep that around. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah, he knows he can't block, so he might as well get in for damage, actually. I'm, I don't know why I'm surprised by that. <laughs> I guess I'm an easily surprisable person. Uh, oh, and Bone Splitters? Yeah, okay, so he just won. He hits my 2-1. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's actually a big problem for me because I think I just lost. Especially with that land. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, that's it for Tide Drifter. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I just lose here. No, I just I just lose here. Fuck it. I, I, yeah, I could have dragged that out, but there's no way I'm, I'm not doing it. And I'm actually really into getting rid of that Tide Drifter right now because it just doesn't do very much. Uh, the, the, the few times that it does do something, it, um, it is against, like, Twin Bolt and a couple little, uh, like, you know, deal one damage uh, creatures, and that's just not enough for me to really uh, give a shit. Uh, I do want mostly red Devoid cards in here. Uh, unfortunately, there's not, like, too many of those. And I do have a lot of removal. But actually, now that I think about it, maybe I want um, card draw. Or more creatures. I like the creatures. The creatures are super cool. 3-4 Trample is kind of a body. <clears throat> Barrage Tyrant could be a finisher. Not you. You. 
deals damage to sacrifice creatures, uh, power to creature or player. So I can't sacrifice himself. He can't sacrifice himself, which super sucks. Otherwise, he's a five three for four five, which is not that good, and his ability is kind of expensive too. So never mind on that. I don't like him. <laughs> I just don't like him. He smells funny. I could stick a Pia and Karen in here, which is kind of awkward. Or a gear per gear crafter. But I don't like him either, honestly. I, a lot of these guys I just don't... I'm not into. He's just not that into you, you guys. He's just not that into you. No, I don't like any of these. I really, really don't like any of these. I am thinking of uh, Telling Time. Telling Time seems supreme. No, that's dumb. That's just dumb. Uh, I'm going to put in Telling Time. Because I love Telling Time. I think it's a fantastic damn card. It totally gets me what I want. I have lots of like things to do. I've got the removal. I've got creatures to beat down. Uh, that'll be Vile Aggregate. Uh, Nettle Drone could probably be cut a little, actually, now that I'm thinking about him. Uh, Blight Herder's pretty cool. Devourer of Hope is fantastic. And do I want to throw an Ulamog in here? I feel like that's just way too overkill. <laughs> I don't know about Ulamog. Uh, for 10, I would definitely put him over, over Desolation Twin. I like, actually, uh, Eldrazi Devastator a little. Uh, for two less, I, I don't know. Gain five life is also kind of cool. Um, of course, this could also this guy here could be like a nine nine sometimes for six, which is super sweet. I don't like that card. I do like Blight Herder somewhat. What is it? Two cards that I have to exile, and then I get three Scions. That's two cards though. Colorless creature, which sometimes kills a guy. Um, actually, I'm definitely going with Oblivion Sower here for for my beatdown, and that's replacing a single Nettle Drone. Okay, let's try that again. Whoops. I. All right. Let's try that again. No. Let's try that again. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> I swear to God, I will get this correct. If it kills me, that is a lie. If it try, if it starts to kill me, I will stop, and uh, I probably won't try again. But we, we're we're not at that point. Oh god, I hope it's not the same guy. No, I think this is a different background. So many of this av avatar. <sighs> god, how many people yawn on stream? Not stream. Pecky you, pecky yeah, pecky hecky hecky, pecky heckaboo. Oh, all right, this is disgusting. Uh, this is similar to the last uh, hand I kept, and if I kept that... Wow, this is like the same thing. This is... <clears throat> oh, damn it. I didn't fix my mana base. I have like way too many mountains in here. Shit. This is almost mono blue Eldrazi. You know what? Maybe I should have more control in here. Like more uh, counter spells. Mm. Nah, I don't like that. Screw that. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, I mean... It comes down, so hey. Uh, next turn, probably Nettle Drone, and then Eldrazi Sky Spawner, because I have a feeling that he's gonna pump this guy up somehow. Yeah, okay. Black, black, white definitely have auras, and there's an aura. Okay. Although, actually, uh, a Sky Spawner token will uh, trade with that pretty okay. Like, what else does this do? When it dies, draw a card. For two? That seems expensive. I'm not a fan of that. Um, or I could just uh, Benthic Infiltrator, which is not what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's not what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. Can we do it? Can we do it? Does he have any more auras? He probably does. Uh, but Which isn't like the end of the world. I do have ways of dealing with creatures pretty pretty effectively. Especially ones with auras. 
because they can uh, bounce them back to their hands and shit. Uh, he wants to do it. Okay. He's tapped out. What's he doing here? He just wants to draw a card? Like, I'm not taking four damage. Like, that's, that's bullshit to me. I'll let him draw a card. That's a weird one for me, guys. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> uh, I could Benthic Infiltrator to stop that. Uh, Alright, so what, this, this is the one with Renown? No, Rally. Okay. Uh, so 2-3, so it'll pretty much only deal me 3 damage. Um, not too worried about that, so I think I'm going to Nettle Drone. Yeah, I'm going to Nettle Drone. Uh, because then I get the extra damage off of all the, uh, the fun things. I gotta get rid of some of these mountains. I have too many mountains. Or I just gotta put in more red cards. Either way. Uh, either or. It's the same. <clears throat> Adverse Conditions is another uh, card on the chopping block. Uh, I like it, but I don't think I'm aggressive enough or have like enough power to really make the best of it. It's really good when they have a, a semi-wide field and they're still attacking in, and I have like this this just beefcake who wants to come in and beat them up. But um, so like so like let's say they have like. You know, two one ones and a three three. So then they'll charge in with a three three and then keep their one ones back. And then I have a six six. And then they just assume that their one ones are going to block my six six. Uh, that's the good situation. Uh, every other situation is kind of like meh. <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm probably not attacking with my nettle drone <laughs> because that seemed bad. That seemed bad idea. So let's just get in there. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna Mist Intruder and Benthic Infiltrator all at once and uh, deal an additional two damage to him because that seems good to me uh, and by the way uh, when you do play something like that Leave the Nettle Drone. Uh, don't finish his last ability until uh, their turn. Like, give them the least amount of option to play cards. You know, like, give them the least information possible. So, right now, my guy is at least threatening a block. Like, at the very least, he's threatening a block. Um, and I could block and tap him at the same time. And if he's tapped because I did it on my main phase, I mean, it, it, he, he, he swings in anyway. Which is fine, uh, because I'm, I mean I'm still not gonna I'm still not gonna block with my three one. I feel like he's he's more valuable to me than that. But uh, just general magic strategy: do things at the last second. That that gives your opponents uh, the least amount of time to react. <clears throat> uh, this seems like a good situation for me. Let's see, he can swing in for six. I can swing in for two, three, four, five in just two of his things. And if I wanted to, I could tap down a couple of his bros. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, setup so far. This is looking okay for me. He ingests twice. Mm, I'll land and some other little like one or two drop that I don't care about <sighs> see if he auras up if he auras up and and makes something more beefy I'm just gonna adverse conditions it infernal scarring is exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> so as soon as he moves into combat I'm gonna adverse conditions gotta do it before he attacks there we go tapity tap oh wait wait wait, wait. yeah and I and I forgot to uh, attack, uh, to tap my bro here, which I will do right now. There we go. <laughs> so now, now he will untap. Dink. I can threaten a block and tap him down, which I will not block. Absolutely not block if he does decide to swing in. Which is, by the way, the wrong play. He should not swing in unless he has another creature. Because uh, I have, like, a lot of damage on the board right now. I don't know why he's swinging for two damage. He better have another creature right now. Otherwise, that was ridiculous. 
Okay. Murderous compulsion works. Uh, on my 2 1. Okay. That does do something. You better hope I don't have another, uh, another colorless spell coming my way because that could be lethal. Uh oh. Three, four, five, six. That is lethal. See, that's why you shouldn't attack like that, dude. God, that was very not clever of you. I'm at 10. It's like that those two guys don't even untap this turn. Like you just kind of, that was just not not right. It's like you saw what I was playing too. It's like you're going to swing in for two and it's like got three in the ass. It can block at least my 1/1, one, one, uh, probably my 3/3. Three, three. I mean, it has to at least stop my 3/3. Three, three. Obviously, the exception to the rule that I said always do things last minute uh, is here because I, I don't want to just like give him more cards to play against me. So I uh, just got to do it now, finish him off. All right. <clears throat> oh, enough strategy talk. Cast 15 color spells. I think I did it. Boosh. Let's do a couple more of these or one more of these. I don't know. How many? Wait, how many? How many games did I play? This is the first one, right? I think this is the first one. Oh, no. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, good. I was thinking it froze up again because it is, you know, really interested in doing that. This game hates itself so much. It does. Oh, no, wait. Oh, my God. I, I just, whoop, okay. Sorry. I just realized that the stand that my mic is on is connected to my chair, and I'm, like, shaking my leg real fast. So if I hear this in post and you just hear, like, this, like, in the background, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't have my earplugs in, so I can't actually hear what the mic is picking up right now. Which I should, because that's the professional thing to do. But then again, I'm not a professional. Like, I don't make money off of these videos. Like, I don't... <laughs> I have not monetized my channel. I'm not asking for money. I don't have a tip jar. I don't have a Patreon. I don't want... Don't worry about it. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm going to make these videos just because they're fun. Just because I enjoy them. What? Okay. Uh... I wasn't even able to mulligan. What the fuck is this? What? What? I don't want this. This is bad. I was gonna mulligan. Oh my god. Okay, so if they leave before I choose to mulligan, not only am I forced into the game, but I'm also unable to mulligan again. That That's the deal. That... Are you serious? Come on, guys. Stainless. You know... <sighs> alright, alright. It worked out. It, it all worked out. It's okay. Fine. Fuck it, you guys. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't, don't be a bitch. It's okay. It's okay. I... Fine. Alright. Not mad. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just pissed off. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually pissed off. Okay, so we got... Uh, we got some scary colors out there. And there's the scary, scary card that I don't like seeing. But he doesn't actually... Wait, doesn't he need... Doesn't he need a swamp? Oh, he does have a swamp. Yeah, no, never mind. He totally has a swamp. Well, um... Lifelink kind of sucks. Uh, I'm obviously not swinging into his 2-4 with my 3-1. That seems, like, dumb. I'll be happy to drop my Vile Aggregate. Nice little 2-5. And then I have another one, which will be a 3-5. Seems good. Seems good. I mean, the benefit of this deck is that there are a lot of creatures here, you know? I've got plenty of just things. Not so much to do, but I do have things. Kind of awkward for him to swing in here. Uh, if he did swing in, I think I would have just taken it because that would have sufficiently scared me. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I just miss a, a trigger on my Nettle Drone? God damn it, I did. Ugh. God, I'm so bad at this. I totally missed that. Okay. Uh, next turn, if I get a land, it's going to be double Mist Intruder. If I don't get a land, it'll be uh, Benthic Infiltrator. And I will be swinging in with my three fives. I don't care if he gets the uh, lifelink because, you know. No, they won't be three fives at that time. They'll be uh, four fives, which is super supers. Super dupers. Actually, if I get another island, it'll probably be Whirler Rogue. All right, don't forget it this time. Come on. Come on, Fravis. You remember how to play Magic, don't you? 
I was uh, thinking of getting... I mean, I'm mean, already in MTGO. I, oh, hey, it is an island. Okay. Um, well, then, Whirl a Rogue all day, every day. Like, that's just what's going to happen. Because now I got 5-5 five, five Tramplers coming in. And that just seems like a good idea. <laughs> oh, no! Which one? Which one? Which one? Two of them! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! <laughs> you bastards! You bastards! Um, okay, you know what? I, I still got I still got options here. Uh, this guy won't be blocked. Tap these two dudes. I'm still getting in for three. That sucks, man. Double reprisal. Up my ass. Oof. God. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> All right. All right, you got it. Damn, man. And those guys were like the stars of my deck. I mean, at least it opens up my Drowner of Hope, which is kind of nice. Yeah, he's probably going to gain two life here. Whatever. Or not. Oh, no, he's got something else to do. Okay, what's he got? Ah, uh, Languish. Languish is a good one. I really can't do a whole lot about that. Son of a bitch. Well, I mean, I still have double Mist Intruder. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, this is even better than Mist Intruder. Um... I could Benthic Infiltrator and Mist Intruder, which is what I'm going to do instead. I'm still open to another Languish. Uh, one more land, and I got my Drowner of Hope going, which is super nice. Uh, what is that? Two, two colorless? Okay, cool. Two Uldrazi work for me. You know what I got to put in here? I should put in um, Sigil of Valor. I think Sigil of Valor would be fantastic. Fuck, if he grabs that, he is, isn't he? He's going to get the Languish again. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. Alright. Um, well, I'm not going to play Drowner of Hope. Because the the Scions will just get destroyed. So I might as well just swing in for two. Let's see. He's on a seven turn clock. I'm on a six turn clock. Fuck. Fuck. So he doesn't actually have to languish right now. Hmm. I don't... He doesn't have to languish. Like, he could just race me right now, which is probably the worst thing for me. Um, let's just hope he swings in and languishes anyway. Ah, oh, man, this kind of sucks. Of course, I could just leave my Benthic Infiltrator back if I really wanted to. Yeah, yeah, he, he's just going to race me. But yeah, he knows that he can beat me. All right. Um, uh, okay, so see, the, the problem is I'll, I'll have him dead in um, six fucking turns. <laughs> and he will have me dead in five turns. So I have to, I have to leave back the 1-4 to block his 3-2. He'll probably swing in. I'll have to block. And then um, and then he'll just languish. That's that's the best play from him. But, I mean, depending on what else is in his hand. But that is probably the best thing for him to do. Or he can just think about it forever. Fucking AI. Uh, or not. Alright, fine. Then just languish now. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, this is kind of awkward. God damn. What do I do here? Um. I think I drown her of hope. I I think uh, fuck it. If he wants to two for one himself. Uh, I guess I'm okay with that. Let's just start uh, ingesting his library. We'll get that going. Uh, so that'll turn on a few of my cards later on down the line. And, uh, Drowner of Hope, I guess. I'm kind of sad to see those, uh, Scions get destroyed. Uh, what I will do is, uh, sacrifice the Scions to tap his guys on his attack phase if he doesn't languish right now. Because, uh, I think he has to languish. 
meaning he's probably going to attack. Actually, no, I don't have to do that. I could just chump block with the... Uh... Yeah, you know, he should attack. See if I block with a 5-5, five five, which of course I will not. That's ridiculous. He will not languish. Holy shit. Okay. Whoa. Alright, this AI is killing me right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm just blown away right now. What do we do, guys? What the fuck do we do? Like really, what what what's what's the best plan here? Um, I think I'm just gonna sack. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna tap down his uh, his other guys. Those two bitches right there. I'm gonna swing in for six. He can't stop the six. That's just coming in. That's just gonna pound him in the pound him in the butt. It's gonna come in there and just you know stick a thumb in there. He's not gonna like that. <sighs> and now, now he's down to three. So I could benthic infiltrator. Um, seems bad. I'm at fifteen. Screw that. No. All right, the Eldrazi. Sky Spawner is going to come down and make a Scion, which I can use to tap his blocker. The Mist Intruder... I, I feel like I just can't play it because it's just going to die. And he's at lethal... Fuck. Fuck, I forgot about that. That is massive problems because now he's going to go up big time. He can get lifelink twice, so he can gain four, five, six, seven life right now. Sucks, man. God damn, that sucks. <sighs> Let's see here. My Mist Intruder is still good for one damage. So, I mean, it, this isn't lethal, so I won't just chump this shit. Or maybe I should have, because he's probably going to languish here. Think he'll languish here? Nope. All right, he's not languishing. Shit. Never mind. Did he just double lifelink something? Did he just triple lifelink something? Why did he? <laughs> okay. No, that's not how it works. But all right. Uh, this seems amazing. Okay, so five, six, seven. Oh God, so close. But I can at least adverse conditions. Okay. So that works for me. That works pretty well. Um, tap that. Sack that. Swing in for seven. Keep my adverse conditions open. Uh, to tap down two of those. And then my missed intruder. Oh boy. Can I do this? So who would I tap down? I would tap down a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-2, and then I'd have to chump somebody. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm okay. I mean, I, fuck it. I'll, I'll leave this back. I'll leave this back, just in case. It doesn't. It doesn't change the clock that he's on. That's why I'm leaving it back. <clears throat> and no reason not to play that because it's the AI and I, I believe the AI already knows what's in my hand oh man close game here uh, this is rough so he can gain a ton of life back um, god damn two huh whoa 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 what, what the fuck is he doing he, is he... What? Why is he doing that? What the fuck? That's... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's he's doing this main phase. What? No, it's not gonna happen, man. No, 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 you fucked up. You should have done that instant speed, bro. You done fucked up now. Look what you just did. Because now I can tap your bitches down. I 
could have tapped another bitch down too, but I'm not going to. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for my attack because this guy is just a dumbass. Holy shit. The AI. Not the cleverest. I mean, I guess I could have blocked with the Sky Spawner and gained two, but I'd rather have the damage on, on, on the field. Uh, yeah, guess what? You just die. Drowner of Hope ruins your day. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? What the hell is this shit? Uh, I guess I'll just go in for uh, even the evening. I'll 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 turn off the evening. Uh, head in, head on in for the evening. Yeah, the, you're dumb, AI. That was just dumb. I don't know what the hell was going on there. I don't. Should I even like post that episode? God damn her face. Her. <laughs> ah! The most pissed off girlfriend of all time. Man. Just. I. I okay. <laughs> oh, another person who doesn't give a shit about life. Yo, you can change your avatars. You can make them look good, Trepo. Trepo. Trip a dippy. What's with me and starting with four lands all the time? Not that I'm complaining. Not that I am complaining. What do we got? 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 And that's not so bad. That's actually really good. Uh, one more land in like five turns, and I'll have uh, an awaken three three on time, which is super super nice. Castigator, holy cow! Am I playing Zendikar block right now? So far, every card on the field is from Zendikar. Oh no, not this. Wait, was Sulfur Falls from Zendikar? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that thing is going to get some get some party time in, unfortunately. It's really going to smack me around, which makes me kind of sad. Three damage uh, on, since, uh, on turn three. I mean, I guess it's normal, but it's still a lot. And my Scions can't even block that, which is actually relevant in this situation. Holy cow, you are so vulnerable to uh, one damage to every creature. Holy crap. Hey, and there's my land. Um, yeah, th the problem is that fucking Sky Spawner... Like, I have no good blocks with this thing. <laughs> like, there's no good blocks with this thing. Uh, wh what else does he do? Non-creatures one more to cast? That's fine. I don't really have that many non-creatures, although I do have two in my hand. Um... I think I, I still have to do this. I think, uh... God damn. This is awkward. Well, let's see how he attacks. Maybe... I don't know. Because... The only one that can block either of these guys is my 2-1. Um... And who should I block? Probably, actually, the 2-1 flyer. Because I have a vile aggregate which can block the 3-1. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Trade the flyers, because his flyer is more valuable than my flyer. Um, I'm pretty sure he attacks here. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't trade with the flyers. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just take it, because I really want to take out that 2-1 instead. That 2-1 is way more valuable to me. I forgot what that fucking card does. It, like, taps and untaps things, right? Um. Okay, so I can't block unless I pay one, and I can't attack. As long as it's untapped, creatures can't attack you. Or att uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I pay one for each of the creatures. Okay, that's not the biggest problem of my life. <laughs> um. Hmm. This is kind of awkward. He's got a lot of flyers. <laughs> he's got a lot of flyers. Ugh, boy, he's got a lot of flyers. I mean, I'm really only going to want to be attacking with one creature anyway. God, this is... Uh, he's had really nice tempo so far. He's had a two drop, a three drop, a four drop. This isn't actually a three drop, though, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He curved out perfectly. It's not tempo. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, you could still swing in with that 3-5. Oh, but he wants he wants it to be awkward for me to uh, attack. Okay. So wait, does that second ability for blocking... Uh, as long as it's attacking, creatures can't block. Unless, okay, yeah. So yeah, he could still attack with that 3-5. Unless he just really wants it for blocking. Which kind of makes sense. Maybe he does. Um, Drowner of Hope costs me one Scion. Adverse Conditions isn't so bad. What do I want to do, you guys? What do I want to do? I don't want to Drowner of Hope. Uh, I might Vile Aggregate, or I can Adverse Conditions and then just swing in for everything. Also doesn't seem too bad. Um, I think I'd rather do that on his turn, though. So do I fill up that vial aggregate or what? Yeah, I will. Then I'll have two four fives. Yeah, okay. No, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adverse conditions. Uh, I guess main phase next turn is really the best time to do that. Oh, it's so awkward to do it then. I really don't want to. But I can smack him for quite a bit. That's like 11 damage on the field right now. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, too. Pump all your creatures for five. I don't think he played a land, right? I think he can still do that. If he has the land. Does he want to do like as a surprise? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought that cost five. Target attacking creature. Okay, no, that's the bad version of that card. Never mind. <laughs> There's one that like you pay a bunch and just everything fucking taps and rapes everyone else. <clears throat> so I could clutch up currents. And then just swing the hell in. Which also seems really good. <laughs> uh, um, and, yeah, actually, I think I will do that. That seems just perfect, actually. Bounce that. Uh, sure, I'll... Well, actually, I shouldn't have done that card, but whatever. I don't have that many uh, red sources. And then just swing the hell in. And see what he wants to trade with. If he wants to trade with anything, I'm totally cool with it. Like, I want him to trade. Jesus. <clears throat> uh, those have trample, dude. Those trample. That's a trample. That's a trampling card. Okay. Well, you can just throw that away for the hell of it. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> you kind of gotta maybe want to read those things there. <laughs> I don't think he knew what the, what the hell he was doing. Because he could have at least double-blocked one to kill it. And that would have done so much more <laughs> and stopped the same amount of damage, actually. So, yeah, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Oh, well. Uh, planar Outburst. Boom. Except I get my 3 3. My 3 3 stays. <laughs> That's what the 3 3 does, dude. That's what she does. I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> Only land creatures go. Uh, not, nah, yeah, no, nah, you're still on a three turn clock. Actually, less than that. You're. I'm gonna kill you next turn, actually, because Drowner of Hope is a real thing. <laughs> oh wow, man! I can't tell you how satisfying that is. Woof! And whatever blockers he puts down, I'm just gonna kill immediately. And even if he kills my Scions, I, I still have another Drowner of Hope. So, it, like, it does not matter. I could.